Did you fall in love? Yeah, I fell in love. That's what his life about, falling in love. You know what I mean? Love is a great thing. People think love bad. People just run away from love when it get hard. That's not the love I want. I want unconditional love. Why did y'all break up? Yeah. <sighs> I mean, because he's never like directly answered the question. Why did we break up? There's a there's a there's a laundry list of of reasons that could have caused us to be apart. And I don't want. Yeah. So eloquently. Thank you. Very classy. It. That's not everybody's take, but I, it's I, definitely I, not everybody's I, take. I, no, I, I, I appreciate think it, that. I think anybody it was. that has listened to it, I think that's like the takeaway from anybody who really sat and listened to where I was trying to go with it and coming mm -hmm. from. But um, yeah, it was it was definitely not my intention. It was just something I felt like I had to do. You know, mm -hmm. like I didn't even put it on the tape because I didn't want. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And now let me get back to yeah. me where I was where I was going. Back to mm -hmm. our regularly scheduled program. Yeah, you know what I mean? Break I've really been trying to figure out like the approach in my life to take with anything these days because I feel like I feel like it doesn't matter about getting on line and trying to prove yourself to people who probably don't like you anyway or don't want to believe you anyway my hair looks crazy because I had a shoe yesterday but um I feel like I'm tired of having to explain to motherfuckers anything about my life when y'all don't want to hear it anyway. Like, I can get on here and be like, I ain't fuck that nigga, I don't know that nigga, I ain't do that. And y'all gonna be like, liar. She's a liar. Yes, you did. You did it because whoop de whoop said you did and blah, blah, blah. I feel like it'll be pointless for me to get online and be like, That didn't happen. That's not what it is. Because y'all don't want to believe me no way. Now, what I will say is, because I want to stick to my points because I really got to go. But there was a point in my life. There was a point in my life where I was so low and I was so sad and I was drinking like a motherfucker. I was turning up. I was doing whatever the fuck I wanted to do. I was definitely outside. That was my business. I was outside before I had a relationship. When I got in my relationship after I got shot and everything, like, I think I was still going off adrenaline. I wasn't grieving my parents. I wasn't doing, I, I had never really reacted to all the bad shit that had happened to me. So when I got in my relationship and I finally just sat down with one person, like, I felt like, Ugh. Okay, now I could just be as depressed as I want to be. I want to be sad. I want to cry. I want to fucking tell you everything. I want to tell you my whole life story. And that was my friends at the time, too. Everybody around me at that time saw how hard I was going. They saw how sad I was. They saw how much I drank. Nobody in my life at that time was like, Megan, let's not go out tonight. Megan, let's not turn up tonight. Megan, you don't got to do that. Everybody was down with the motherfucking shenanigans. I'll be crying before I walk in a party and bitches will be like, come on, bitch, let's go. You know, I'm crying with my nigga. <laughs> Why you always crying? You know what I'm saying? Like, people saw me be low as fuck. Once I went and got help, once I got therapy, once I fucking decided I need to love myself. I need to value myself because I don't love myself. I'm not valuing myself. I'm fucking up. I'm crashing out. Once I start realizing... You're crashing, bitch. You need a fucking bothering people so bad. Like, I don't know what that means. And I, and I, I don't want to keep this long because I know people are going to chop this up the way they want to chop it up and twist my words and make me something else. But I just feel like I'm Megan Thee Stallion and I just want to be Megan Thee Stallion. I just want to drop my music. I just want to talk to the hotties. I just want to shake my ass. I want to have as much fun with this shit as I used to. But it seems like every time I take a step forward to heal and do something different, 
Motherfuckers be like, no, come back. Get your ass back to this negativity. Come back this way. You, you're not supposed to be smiling right now. You're not supposed to still be getting deals. You're not supposed to be in movies. You're not supposed to be recording albums. You're supposed to be sad where you was with me two, three years ago. When I got in a relationship, all that shit was deleted. I was sat the fuck down. I was sat. I was seated. I was very much happy where I was at. If, if, this, if this man is saying, I didn't cheat on her. I didn't do that. Well, why the fuck is you responding to me? Do you know how many niggas y'all claim I done fucked with? Why are you answering? Why are you trying to make that shoe fit? Was it you getting your dicks up in the same spot I was sleeping? If you say it wasn't you, why the hell is you dissing me? Like, what the fuck is going on? Why are you talking to me? I wasn't, if you said I wasn't talking to you, I wasn't talking to you. Like, you just wanted to fucking find a reason to bash me. It's, it seems very strategic. It never, it's never something I want to speak on. Never something I want to elaborate on. You've never once seen me speak on my personal life, whether I be happy, sad, and different. You know what I'm saying? Just little tidbits. So, this is, these are always uncomfortable for me. Um, anyway, like I said, I go out here to promote my music. Y'all never heard me speak ill, um, about anybody to this point in time. I never intended to, I never did so. But if you watch my interviews in their entirety, I always speak about exactly what happens, exactly how I feel without even giving too much. Cause I don't like to dive into too much, but I have no problem taking accountability. I, yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. Let's let's talk about what the definition is. Yeah, I did that. Yeah, find me an interview where I say no. Not once. But I just don't appreciate people throwing rocks and hiding their hand. I was chilling. I was cooling. Nobody asked me nothing. Nobody asked nobody nothing, in fact. And and throwing rocks and hiding your hand is just... That's not good behavior. You know what I'm saying? It's not good. Especially the people that have been good to you. Um... Everything I needed to talk about, I talked about on the song. Everything I need to say, I said it on the song. People want to know why. They want to know what happened. And when you paint things in ways that they didn't happen, you got to clear it up. You got you to fucking clear it up. Um, but with all that said, with all that being said, I wish happiness for everybody. I wish healing for everybody. I felt like I was well along my journey. I felt like I was well along in my journey. I had put a lot behind me. I had uh, I had ate a lot of shit as, as a male, as a man. Like, you know what I'm saying? I just ate it. You know what I'm saying? I felt like this was like not one of those times I was going to let it slide. Let somebody speak on me and let my, let my story be told by somebody else. This wasn't one of those times I was going to let it slide. I just wanted to make this video real quick about partisan and uh, Megan Thee Stallion going back and forth and shit, you know. It is what it is. These these females love going live, talking shit about their relationships, you know. Bartison really ain't said too much, you know. He went on plenty of uh plenty of uh, different podcasts and was talking about it. He said he admitted he cheated on her, you know what I'm saying, and all that stuff. But he didn't um, uh, you know, flame her too much, you know, didn't didn't talk bad on her and you know, uh, you know, I, I bet it was back and forth, you know, shit like this happens all the time. You know, you're in the industry, you're gone for months on end from uh, your partner, significant other or whatnot. And you do this uh, type of tango, you know, they be all everywhere uh, around the world and it's hard to get to your partner. And, you know, if it's a uh, Jeezy and uh, Jenny Mai or just this, this Plenty of these relationships that just keep on starting and failing, you know. It is what it is. But uh, Megan Thee Stallion just had to go live and, you know, clear the air about her little situation in it and, you know, how she felt about it and everything, uh, her drug use and, you know, drinking and partying and shit, you know. So she was pretty much admitting with all that that she's not innocent, you know, she she's done a couple things. She needed to do some therapy to get over the situation and stuff like that. So, you know, uh, people got to admit they faults in these relationships and, you know, try to uh, do better and be better. You know, it's, 
it's part of the game, you know what I'm saying? Um, people learning each other and, you know, they're probably back together in a year or two or, or whatnot. You never know with these uh, type of industry people. They be rotating each other like a motherfucker. So it is what it is. Uh, they both then moved on, it seems. They both don't seem like they even care about uh, each other, but they're still uh, bringing up the situation about, you know, them cheating on each other and stuff like that. So, you know, both of them pretty much blaming on uh, the alcohol, (laughs) blaming on the juice, but it is what it is. They're going to keep on doing this type of shit. Uh, They're still young, still ready to party, still uh, hitting billboards and shit. Well, Megan Thee Stallion, uh, you know, it is what it is, though, you know. Silence is acceptance, and we ain't having it. Like, comment, subscribe.